<laughs> Always sad when a coach uh, yeah, gets the lemonade and sass. What are your thoughts? Well, you were there a long it, time. It, you built the club up. Interesting what she said about competing consistently with the teams around you. Yeah. So I quietly was very worried about round 15, which was the game against Adelaide in Tassie. Yes. 57-point loss. It's a 10-goal mm. loss mm-hmm. to a side that aren't actually that good. Yeah, right. We're going to talk to Tex. Yeah. They're in a similar rebuilding phase. Spot you know. On. So yeah. I don't think anyone expected Adelaide to be anywhere but where they mm. are now. So that when you go to your home ground, and Blunston Arena is North Melbourne's home ground where they play bloody good footy as they a rule, yep. and you get beaten by 10 goals by a side that aren't really that great, that way... Getting beaten well by Geelong down in Geelong yeah, is no crime. No, no. Geelong are the best side in the comp. Especially down there. Down yeah. there. But th- that was a bad loss. So right. I reckon that might have started ringing some very loud alarm bells. Right. What about the review hasn't finished yet? And he's been sacked. Yeah. Well, I, I, I don't, don't know anything about the review. I haven't spoken to Jeff Walsh or anyone at the club, actually. Mm. So I don't know what's left to review. But clearly it just became no, no, untenable. Sure. Patch Adams is the interim coach. Yeah, little Patch. Good yeah. man. Good man. Good man. Now, the last two coaches have been Reese Shaw and David Noble. So the next coach has got to be the right man. And 100%. you make one call only. It's got to be to Alistair Clark. Well, you would certainly be speaking to him. That's your first call. No doubt. And second Best and in third. Show. Yep. But he's not the only one. I mean, you'd, I 100% agree that mm. they, they should be uh, very quickly canvassing him. But Don Pike, we spoke to on the weekend, yeah. I would definitely be calling him. Right. Uh, Ross Lyon, who works with us. I don't know how interested Ross is well, in coaching What would Ross say? Again. Rabs, you know him well. I think he's very happy not coaching, right. but you never you'd, know. Mate, yeah. You'd certainly be ringing these yeah, people exactly. and just saying, it, it, do you want to have a conversation with us? Because we'd love to have a conversation mm. with you. i tell you what you always find interesting about these press or media conferences. You've got two people there. You got, well, you have the CEO, the coach, and you have the president. The president and the CEO have sacked a bloke and he's sitting there. Yeah. It's always a bit orcs, isn't it? Very like strange. you've got two there that have sacked this bloke and he yep. turns up. Good effort by the sack coaches to turn oh, up. Oh, look, Bill, I totally agree. And you know when you take the job on, whether it's at North Melbourne or any other club, you are only there until you get sacked. Yeah. Very few coaches yes. actually put their hand up and say, I've had enough. Mm, so right. most of them end up getting sacked at some stage. Exactly. But uh, it is sad. It's sad for David and his family who would have come in with high hopes as uh, to what he could do in the role. So... Yeah, I'm with you. I never like seeing it. Whichever club it is, you always feel sad for the person. But the next coach is very, very, very important at that joint.